We're going to open up the open the Bible on Psalm 139. Psalm 139, verse 1, 2, and soon after the 22 and 24. Psalms 1, 2, and then 22 and 24. Psalms 139, verses 1 and 2. Lord, search me and know me. You know my my sitting down and my rise up. You understand my thoughts afar off. Now, twenty three. Search me, God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, and see if there is in there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. The church may be seated. My brethren, the word here says, speaks of, of uh, one of the attributes of God, which is uh, being almighty and of being all-knowing. Those are two attributes of the Lord. The, uh, the, f the attributes of God being all-knowing, where a person can be omnipresence is when a person can be in many places at the same time, and this attribute only only God has only God. He can be here at this moment. He can be at your home. He can be in Brazil close to your family members because God God is all knowing and all powerful He knows He can be present and He knows when we lay down and when we wake up He knows He knows our heart Nothing is hidden away from God. But sometimes, or better saying, almost always, He wants to see an action from our part. So the psalmist here and takes an action, and in the presence of the Lord, He says, Lord, Lord, you have searched me and know me. So, of course, this is a fact. He was just saying, this is a fact. I recognize that you know me. That you search my heart. But the psalmist says the following. Try me, Lord. So he takes an action uh, before the Lord. He asks God to to try him, to test him. So there needs to be an action from us. That was when Jesus there cured that those ten leopard, and then he uh, said, "Go." and show the priest so, or, or in other words it was necessary from the the ones that have been cured there had to be an action in order to, to be fulfilled in order to consolidate that cure right so the Lord the Lord he knows us when well, the Lord Jesus passed by the blind man he asked what do you want me to do for you Jesus no he knew the necessity of that man 
But the Lord wanted to know what was inside of his heart. What were going to be his actions? He could have said, Lord, I want a crutch. Lord, I want you to place in the heart of those that are passed by me goodness so that they can give me uh, better alms. There could be many things that he could have asked the Lord. But he asked, Lord, I want to see. I want to see. So the prayer has to depart from within our hearts. And not to say, oh, Lord, he, he knows. He knows what I need. He knows that I need a cure. The Lord knows that I need a deliverance. The Lord knows. But the Lord wants from us sincerity and an action from our part. So. Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know my sitting down and my rise up. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me. And that's what happened with Abel. Abel was able to achieve the eternal. It's not easy for the natural man the common man to be able to achieve eternal the eternal path in order for a person to be able to understand this that person needs to be in harmony and in fellowship with the Lord otherwise that person is not going to be able to achieve the eternal path because our tendency is always to be on the path that leads to our own flesh desires our, our own ego but the Lord wants tonight He wants us to position ourselves in His presence and place before the Lord our limitations what is hidden away why do you think that nobody's seeing but the Lord knows and he wants to help us let us sing this song very softly we're going to sing it softly and the church will be praying we're not going to have that systematics we have uh, just just a few uh, workers here but the praise group will be singing and the church praising the Lord. Speak, Lord. <coughs> Search me.
the Lord at this moment is searching our hearts pour out in the press at God's feet put out your prayers what you have not been able to overcome but no one thing that the Lord can win this battle for you so pray to the Lord, because the prayer of the servant is efficient. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pray to Jesus. For the church to stand up where you will be placed in this moment oh your your life in the presence of the Lord don't worry about anyone at this moment don't worry about praying for your family members to your children no no tonight the Lord wants us to be concerned only with each one of us individually our prayer tonight is for us alone church I'm speaking to your hearts and I tell you that a few of us a few of you have entered this place with the hearts with a tribulation in their hearts and a few concerned with tomorrow but my children and I want to say to you that I know you and you are secure in my presence don't be afraid don't be af don't fear what is going on around you today and these days but trust alone in your God 
Because I tell you that no evil should happen against you because my powerful hands are laid upon you. Do not doubt this word because great is your Lord. And at this moment, I have received before myself your your plea, your intercession, and I tell you, now rest in me, rest in your Lord, because in the opportune moment, I will be acting on your behalf. Beloved Church, glorify my name because soon you will be with me in my eternity. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Powerful God.
Lord to God. Lord, we adore your holy name. We praise you, Lord, because you are our peace. While we are in, in the world that goes through tribulation, a world that is causing us harm, you have been our peace, you have been our eternal path. Bless be the name of the Lord. Because every day have been brought comfort to our hearts. Bless be in your name, Lord. For this moment here in your presence, for the a spiritual banquet that we have prepared for each one of us. Bless be your name, Lord. Ask, Lord, that you continue with us. Receive in your presence this service of adoration to your name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. I've come to an end, to the end of our service. And you're here at the disposal of the church. So that um, any question, anything that you may still desire, we are here at your disposal. And I also wanted to remind the church about our service Saturday, 7.30, on Sunday in the morning, 10.30, and at night, 7.30. Also, the, the wedding. The wedding. Tomorrow, we're going to have a wedding in Allendale. The whole church is invited at 8 o'clock. The brethren that don't have the address will give you, uh, try to come a little earlier because it seems that we have problems in parking. The around the church. So the brethren that want, they need parking, just come a little earlier there. It's going to be a great blessing there. The Lord has prepared for the church, for the brethren, Guilherme and Samir. Samir. Everybody is invited. Here is the address. Oh. Who wants to come up eight o'clock in the morning? No problem. Amen. There's nobody come by uh, coming to an agreement to go all together communicate with the groups who doesn't have a, a ride or don't doesn't want to go uh, with their own car and want to go um, in a carpool just contact your group <laughs>